Hang on. Hang on. Coming in. All right, darling. So we're on our way to Witch Bold Swan Rescue. I've had my vet check over the swan and while there wasn't anything obviously wrong with it, it's not standing up properly on its legs, it's slightly splayed out. Now it might just be bruising where it's landed on the tennis court and it just needs a bit of TLC, which we, we can do. But I'm a bit concerned that actually there may be something more sinister wrong with it and that's made it make wrong decisions like landing on tennis court and getting caught in a fence, i.e. it's disorientated because of lead poisoning. And so which bold have a designated? It's near to Joint Witch, the place we go. So, which bold have a designated um, swan vet, and uh, Jan has been doing it since 2004, so she's really experienced, and I'm pleased that you know it's going to be in really good hands there. It's a shame that it has to go through the stress of transport, but at least it will get some really good care. <laughs> friends for you. <laughs> and various stages of needing a bit of help, aren't we? You go to this end and hold that end for me. Hold the face. Just have a general Oh. <coughs> so he has been to the vet last night, so he did have a bit of a check, but he's not a swan expert, but he is good with birds generally. A bit of strength in his wings, doesn't he? Yeah. Is it normal to get a lot of heat in the legs and the face when they've been transported? Or it's something? a stress. Okay, yeah. Because when we got to the vet last night, he, we, had him, we transported him actually in the car. And even though I had the heating off, he got incredibly hot in the... It's not as hot now. He's calmer because he can see the little swans, isn't he? He's obviously scorched the bottom of his feet. He's come down a bit. Harsh. Mm. I think what we should do is try and get a blood sample, but I don't yeah. normally yeah. do it after being travelled, I usually yeah. let them have a bit of time. A break. Um, no, I think we'll leave him until tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that's the best thing to do. Dan's going to treat him for lead now, which is very interesting to me because last time I did it, we actually put a drip in, which was all very complicated. Who told you to do that? Um, I can't remember. Is it the vet? I, think I'll, I can't remember. Every I did time speak you to use... Dot. Oh, yeah. Dot's a bit complicated. Yeah, it was a bit complicated. Yeah, I did think putting a drip on was a bit difficult with a swan, you know, because they've got to stand still then, haven't they? Dot always has said over the years. Um, That's an antibiotic, is yeah. it? Yeah. Always use an antibiotic when you're treating for lead, every okay. time. Okay. Because when you treat for lead and when they've got lead, their immune system is shot. Okay, yeah. So okay. it's quite important. And that's the sodium, calcium, yeah. Yeah. calcium something. Edutate. Edutate. That's, oh, that's no good. Okay. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. It's all I'm going to do. It's all right. Oh, in the chest? Yep. That's, the, that's, that's the same yep. And that's the... And that's the antibiotic. Antibiotic, okay. And you'll give those injections daily, will mm. you? I'll do five days. Okay. And then I'll give it a break. Yeah. Just to see... How um, it is. And you can watch. Let's put this down for. Can you? Down. 
Oh, there we go. See, he's a bit struggling, see? Is that normal? I mean, not normal, but for le lead, or do you think oh, that's the... struggle to stand up. Oh, yeah. yeah, he will struggle to stand. Yeah. Isn't that amazing how calm he is with his other fr with his friends? Because we hadn't yet put him in with with Alan. Legs are very wide, aren't they? And he's very, very wide. Flat. Yeah. Very wide. But he's so happy now. He's, it's just he's magical. He's quite comfortable now. He's not his he's thing. Not, he's not on his own. Is not on his own. And he's got a choice of food here. Yeah. So he's got crumbs in water. Just water. Grass. Yeah. Or, um, a, a corn. corn. I better. Can you pull that? This one? Yeah, please. Yeah. Just over. Yeah. It's like you do for humans, isn't it? I was going to say, yeah. you used to use that for racing. Yeah. You have something to keep Just you... Just perk you up. Do you give IV fluids or subcutaneous? No. Fluids? No, you just do the... Hasn't needed to, really. Yeah. What I normally do when I'm on my own... Yeah. ...is I put my feet on either side... Yeah. ...and you can sure you don't tread on. Yeah. Coughing it up together. Still hot. Still hot to me. I don't know if that's normal, is it? Okay. Yeah. The other side. Open up. You can hang on to that. Yeah. That's a long way, isn't it? You press that gently and quietly. Not the Getting better, more comfortable. Yeah. Um, and do they normally improve with the treatment? Or oh yeah. They do. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, it's amazing what happens. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So that's just an injection. And what? How much have you given that? Two mil. Two mil. And is it standard? Two mil for everybody. It's standard. Yeah. Two if mil it was a very end, little signet, obviously. You might give a bit less. Yeah. Oh, a lot less. Do little tiny signets get it? They do. Yeah. Oh. Wicked. Oh, it's horrible. So you give two mil for five days, then a break. Yeah. And then start I'll again. It up again. I tell you what, once you start looking, now tomorrow we should look at these as individuals. Mm. John will come and his wife comes with him and we just have a look at everybody. And those who look a bit more necky. That one's looking more necky. treated again. That one sort of. That, um, no, neck by necky, you mean an S shaped sort of bend yeah. in the neck? The neck lies on the body at the bottom. Okay. Let him relax again and then. Oh, I see. 